I put a ton of firewood on the fire so that I won't be left between a rock and a hard place because I do have a tendency to, holy stop. Oh my God, no. Ah. One man and one woman for 21 days, they have no clothes. In some of the harshest environments on the planet. Ah! A primitive landscape, untamed. This is the Atlantida region of Honduras. Brian and Clarence is home for the next 21 days. Is this a road? It's not a road. I'm nervous about who my partner is. It's like the biggest blind date in the world. If I accomplish these 21 days and nights, I can show my dad. He raised a very confident, strong woman that can take on anything. Take your clothes off, take your, take your clothes off. School's about to start. My father passed away September 11th, 2004. My father was my rock. After my father passed away, lots of people have let me down over the years, and I would never rely on anyone for my success. I've been homeless for a little over 10 years now. I may not have a home, but I have a heart. And home is where the heart is. And that's everywhere. That's Earth. My address is Earth. I'm kind of excited to be naked for 21 days. Ready for a big blur? Ready for Honduras? Honduras ready for me. I'm making my way there. Hi, Here I'm Bree. Clarence, Clarence, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you finally. Yeah. I have to hug you, I'm sorry. <laughs> the pink toenails kind of threw me for a loop, but uh, Clarence seems very positive, which I'm really in tune with. Um, this is really flat. Just this and this is all we need to start our lean-to. We don't need any forks except for support beams underneath. I don't like sleeping on the ground. Snakes are something that freak me out. They can hide in smaller places and you can easily get bit. Well, I'm gonna let you take charge on making the shelter. Okay. For me, I'm gonna focus on the fire. That fire is gonna be lifeline. I'll feed the fire before I feed myself. Ooh, pressure is on. is wet. Everything is awesome. Not the type of wood I'm used to. So I'm just gonna look at what's going on here, okay? With the fire? Yeah. Oh, this is wet. That's why it's not catching. The ground has to be like bone, bone dry. Oh, I don't know how to say this nicely. I don't want to just take over, though. I don't want to take over. Hey, so I was just gonna try to do it in the sunlight for a brief second, like where it's oh, really yeah. dry, and give that a shot, and we can always transfer it here for sure. How do you do I it? I take the base of it and get it low. You're so peaceful when you do that. I'm sweating like crazy. Ah, stress doesn't help anything. There we go. Put the whole damn thing in there. Let me get it right on the coals right there. I'm really excited that he got fired. I'm realizing that it's a lot easier for us to work as a team on things rather than me being impatient as I usually am. That is one of my biggest downfalls. What is that? Oh my God, it's tarantula. 안녕하세요. Hey, that's a nice taste of the little snack. It's huge. Yeah, I got that sucker. You want to try a leg? Yeah, let's try some leg. Oh, look at that meat. Like a fuzzy little lobster. Clarence and Bree spend the next two hours working on the raised platform for their shelter, racing to finish before the evening storms roll in. We got it. Up off the floor with dry feet. Feel, all that hard work I feel like just paid off. It's a pouring bucket. We is sleep on. Hopefully, I can keep the fire going all through the night. It was 
freezing cold last night. I mean, cold, cold. I am feeling tired. Oh, really, yeah, really tired. I bet. From a piss poor sleep. You know, a team effort for the fire would have been ideal. I'm the main one looking for wood, and I'm the main one tending it, and the main one feeding it, and the only one at night doing anything to preserve it. I'm going to make a new shelter completely, and I'm going to make my own fire. I need a warm spot to sleep so, at night. Sleep's too important. I know sleep is important. Bree and I are partners, but we don't have to hold hands with everything we do, and we definitely don't have to sleep together. Clarence quickly gathers leaves and twigs to erect a debris shelter. It's the ideal structure to keep heat in and rain out. So it's raining, and I'm dry. That's all I can say about that. Good night, Clarence. My stomach's killing me. I can feel it all in my bowels. I have something in my intestines that doesn't agree with me. Um, so I've got crazy diarrhea. I think I need to add one more big one. Patience is, is what's going to make it work the best. Today, Bree is going to be all about the fire. Today is going to be a good test for her and see how important it is. And you know, it's hopefully, it'll teach her a little bit of patience. I need to sleep. I agree, sleep. Having fire responsibility today makes me a little nervous because I know how Clarence feels about his fire. And I don't mean his fire, but it is, it's his baby. He is, so I really don't want to let him down. Before he left to go rest, I put a ton of firewood on the fire so that I won't be left between a rock and a hard place because I do have a tendency to, holy The whole thing is catching on fire. Stop. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's going to be pissed. You don't have to Get down. Get down. No. The fire is still going. Oh my God, hi. I'm back. Your shelter burned up. I'm gonna make a new one. Well, okay. Because I need some insulation. I can only guarantee my own success in anything and I can never rely on anyone for my success. Okay. Ever. I am a one wolf wolf pack. For years, I relied on my father. And he was the most reliable person I've ever had in my entire life. But can you rely on me just a little bit? I can guarantee that if the ball comes in this area, I'm going to catch it. But I can't guarantee that you're going to throw it to me accurately. You know what I mean? All right, I'm going to knock a shelter out real quick. OK. I wish you liked it to be part of a team more, so it's a little disappointing. I'm going to make a debris shelter that will keep me super duper warm and cozy at night. I need my beauty sleep real bad. So here is where I am. And then here is where he used to be. Right there is where he is now. This is the weirdest thing to me ever. Like, we came in as a team knowing that it's a team thing. I'm going to say the truth. I'm really disappointed with who my partner is. Over the next three days, Clarence's stomach continues to plague him. Struggling through the pain, he continues to isolate himself from his partner. And if the ball comes in this area, I'm going to catch it. But I can't guarantee that you're going to throw it to me accurately. You know what I mean? So what if he doesn't care about being a team? I'm going to try to turn this into a huge positive. That is my goal. That should be enough. I'm going to make gumbo limbo tea for Clarence's stomach. 
This tree has a lot of healing properties. So if you cut these into pieces and boil them in water, you can drink it and that can help ease like indigestion, tummy aches. That's good, that's really good. Brie has definitely been helpful. I didn't really ask for anything and that made me feel even more comfortable and secure knowing that she's got my back. It is pouring rain again. Clarence and Bree spend the next three nights in their separate shelters, trapped by a torrential rainstorm. So today, uh, I think I'm gonna get Bree on the bandwagon for a debris shelter, which is gonna get better insulation. She's shivering like crazy. I'm already 10 times warmer than just sitting in my place. It's super duper insulated. I think a debris shelter there would be quite warm for you, and then with the entrances facing each other, we'd be able to have conversations. Conversations. He said he'd help me um, make my own, and then that way we can be more of a team and closer together and share stories at night. Like I said, I was bound and determined to bring us back together, and I think that's exactly what's happening. Survival out here has to be a team effort. Right now, he's starting to respect me more, and he's offering to help me, and I'm offering to help him, and, and it just, I, you know, I don't want to get too excited about it, because I just want us to continue down this really awesome path that I think we're on to succeed this at this together. There it is. Excellent. Good night, Good night Clarence. I think it was a poisonous snake. We can't find it. And we can't find it. But there's no way in hell that I can go back in there. I can't. So I've been thinking about this a lot. That just that was, took, me, took me to the edge. I can't. I think I'm going to tap out. Are you OK with that? It's your decision to make. Are you going to be OK? I'm tough. I've been out in tougher situations by myself before. I'm going to miss Bree, but I know I can do this challenge alone. And uh, I'm pretty confident that I will. Bree's gone. It's just me out here all by myself. But I'm a survivor. This is what life was like for Adam before he lost a rib and got Eve. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Thus far, and grace will lead me home. I lived in better places, I've lived in worse places. But I'm glad to be done with this one. I can't wait to leave this place, never ever to return. I'm having trouble enough 
just standing up. But the only thing that's gonna stop me from getting to the extraction point is me going unconscious. Being homeless, I've had a pretty tough life. I gotta keep on pushing. That's what my father always taught me. He taught me how to endure. I see a bridge. Take it to the bridge, Clarence. Take it to the bridge. He's going on pure willpower right now. OK, this is the bridge. Hey! Yeah, hey! Stop! This was the most grueling three weeks of my life. Yeah, baby! I kept a positive attitude through all of it. My father would be proud. My father would be very proud of me. When I started this challenge, I was a one wolf wolf pack. I realize now I don't want to be a lone wolf anymore. This challenge is over, but the adventure never ends. Yeah, baby! Yeah! If you want to succeed in life, you got to face your fears. Go, Clara! Let's go! Yeah.